what we are seeing here are empty seats and it is 10 12 a.m and there are lots of empty seats here about 150 people have cast their vote out of 420 registered voters here at uh, Central Mox polling station. You can see that the seats are empty. The expectation was that a lot of people will come out and vote, but it's already 10-12. Uh, let me speak to the presiding officer here and find out exactly what has been the situation here, because uh, in other police stations that we visited, there are a lot of people, I mean, in queues waiting to cast their vote, but the situation here is quite different. You can see a lot of empty seats uh, people are not coming. Those who have come have cast their votes and left, but you can see empty seats here. So let me speak to the presiding officer and then find out exactly what has been the situation here. Uh, good morning. Uh, what's your name? And tell us exactly what is happening here. We can see that there are a lot of empty seats here. I mean, initially, I mean, when we came, there were people seated here, but now mo all of them have voted and they have left the place. Tea. What is happening? Good morning, my name is Akwa Kibuache, the presiding officer for Central Mox Otafu Pulling Station. Yeah, it's true, in the morning there were queue here. I think the secret has been the pulling officers came in very early in the morning. So by 6.50 we were set, waiting for the time 7 so that we start work. And thank God everything is working smoothly. You've not gotten any problem from the machines or whatever. Everything works perfectly. And then the voters also comported themselves. They were in the queue going one after the other. So I think that has been the secret because nobody tried to jump the queue. And when somebody tried to jump the queue, that brings a lot of talks and conversation and it delays the process. So nothing of it all delayed the process. Though, we had a certain woman who came and the machine couldn't pick the hands. In that case, you have another option where you can verify facially. Mm. So we did facial verification too. Since that we have here, it means you are going to have a holiday for, for some period of uh, time because your men here are not getting enough people to come. After 150 of them have cast their vote, out of 420, I mean, and you're gonna. We, 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 it's not that we are having a, a free day. At least it, it is a time for my officers to, to go around and cast their vote and come. And you know, a typical Ghanaian attitude. Most of them wait for last minute. So I think as and when the time goes by, people will drop in. And you know, as usual, uh, when it comes to voting like this, people will come in early in the morning. And uh, around 12 that way, you see that the atmosphere is a bit cool and serene. Uh, I would say the community too, they've done well. It seems they understood what they were doing. So they came early. It is just some few minutes past 10. And we see nobody is in the queue here. And we've gotten 150 plus voters casting their vote. Uh, so it's a credit to the community, to the electoral commission, and then to my officers here at this polling station. In fact, I can say all the three are up and doing. Everything is working excellently. Mm -hmm. so, so you, apart from the fact that the members of this community understood the process and they were here as early as possible to cast their vote, what were some of the things that you observed here with regards to the voters? Uh, were there some kind of misunderstanding? Misunderstanding in the sense that somebody uh, wanted to uh, do something that was illegal or some stuff like that? For now, no. I've not encountered any illegal activity in this polling station. The only thing I can say is, you know, the polling station is situated right in the middle of a road. Though we've gotten the barricade and then the uh, line to demarcate the polling station, but still people want to try and cross. That has been the major problem now. But when it comes to the process and then the voting itself, in fact, everything has worked excellently. So we are expecting a very good job here. Your name again? My name is Akwa K. Boache. Okay. That, was, uh, that is Akwa K. Boache. He is the presiding officer here. And as we speak now, some people have come to cast their vote. Now, what is happening is that even if you come, you don't have any queue to join. You just walk straight there and then have 
I mean, cast your vote. And that is what is happening here. You can see about three people standing over there to cast their vote because there is no any queue for them here to join in order to be able to cast their vote. It's more like a free day for them to cast their vote here. So the process here is very uh, smooth, very simple uh, and uh, straightforward. I mean, you don't have to struggle or have to go through a long queue as it is done elsewhere.